Welcome back to another episode of The Knowledge Bomb. I'm Nick Fowler. This week we're gonna talk about warm-ups. Most of you out there do a horrible job of warming up. Either lack of time, rushed, um, don't know what to do, um, complacency, whatever the reasons are, there's a huge opportunity, right, to start creating habits, uh, dialing in your warm-up that's gonna translate to better recovery, better performance, uh, especially when it comes to game day, you're gonna know your body, how to prepare for it, how to prepare for an exact event, and that right there will give you points. I wanna encourage you for the next six weeks to take it as seriously as if you're working on your snatch technique or as if you were at the track trying to improve your mile time. This is very, very important, and so take time within your day, within maybe your session at the end, to write down uh, what you did for your warm-up, what worked, what you would change, and then use that as a tool right, to build out your warm-ups. So I'm gonna give you kind of a layout, a little bit of structure that you can use to kind of start answering these questions for yourself. So how do we start our warm-ups? Well, there's really two ways to kind of start the warm-up. I really, really encourage everybody to get on a bike for 10 to 15 minutes. And honestly, for a lot of you, that 10 to 15 minutes is gonna be longer than the time you spend warming up already. So get to the gym a little early, get on that bike, 10, 15 minutes. The goal here is just blood flow, circulation, right? Warm up your body. We wanna increase your body's temperature and just kind of get things moving, right? Greasing the wheels, so to speak. From there, you have kind of two options, okay? If you're a stiff athlete and you need to improve mobility and range of motion for the actual specific training session, uh, for instance, if uh, you're gonna be snatching in your overhead position, uh, is really tight and you, need, you know you need to warm that up, then I'd go from that bike into uh, you know, a little bit of active mobility, right? Active range of motion work, where you're gonna open up your shoulders, things like that. It might be even hip flexors, whatever it is for you. Um, if you're not tight or the session doesn't require you to maybe uh, work on some mobility pieces, then I would go into just what I would call a body weight flow uh, you know, 10 to 15 minute session. And what that might look like is animal walks um, mixed in with a little bit of biking, mixed in with some um, like activating uh, exercises. Example would be glute bridges uh, or hollow body holds, um, you know, maybe even trap three raises, pal raises for upper body pieces. You can go ahead and kind of search those, see what they look like. Uh, see what muscles are gonna activate, but really the goal is to move through big ranges of motion and then also activate uh, just the small stabilizers, the small movers, just kind of, again, kind of start turning things on. And that's gonna be, uh, you know, it's almost looked as like accessory work, but you can put it in your warm up really, really successfully to kind of start turning things on. So from here, you're gonna move into what I would call a light or body weight movements that are very specific and in their patterns to what you have ahead of you. So if um, you're gonna be snatching and you're gonna be box jumping and doing burpees, let's say, right? So there's a lot of bounding, uh, there's some snatch techniques, so maybe you get a PVC, uh, you go through uh, maybe like a Bergner warm up with a PVC, right? Maybe you're doing some really slow burpees, um, you know, maybe you're doing some step ups on the box, maybe you're doing some uh, just some, some high jumps, right? It, you can just think about uh, the movements in your training session, but without the weight. And you can spend five to 10 minutes just kind of getting going. The final piece is the actual prep for the training or the event if you're at a competition, and that's really the ultimate goal, right? Is to dial it all in for you to compete better. Here's a great analogy that I like to use uh, for warm ups. You can think about the on ramp to a freeway. So what you wanna really think about doing is speeding up to the flow of traffic to match it, right? So you can actually get onto the freeway. Same thing with warm-ups. You don't wanna go from zero to 60, you want to slowly, gradually speed up to what the workout is demanding of you. 